everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we are going to check out the Sonal MC24EL Condenser Shotgun Microphone. The EL stands for long because they also make a short version of this microphone. And the cool thing about this mic is it runs off of battery power or 48 volt uh, phantom power. So we're going to try it with both and see how it sounds. Anyways, let's unbox it, try it out, and here we go. All right, so here we have it. This is the Sonal MC24EL. And again, EL means long, as we can see right here, because this is the long version. They do have a short version of this microphone. And this is the professional, a professional condenser shotgun microphone. We can see on this side, a little branding, sonalsound.com. On this side, uh, it just gives us a little bit of a picture of what it looks like and a barcode. On here it says Sinal is registered uh, with the of the is a registered trademark of the Gratis Group, so that's their parent company. And on this side here, we get more information about the mic. We can see it says uh, condenser transducer element. Uh, it's what does it say? Hypercardioid polar pattern, selectable high pass filter, rubberized coating minimizes uh, handling noise phantom and battery powered and it says uh, the box contents contain a microphone foam windshield mic clip and leatherette pouch all right this side again there's that on this side it tells you what it's going to be good for we can use this for broadcast for film for field for studio uh, much of the same info again there uh, you can check that out i'll leave links to the mic so you guys can check everything out if you're interested also it says that Sonal, the sonal mc24 el is a professional shotgun microphone that delivers broadcast quality sound in the studio or on location it features a high grade condenser uh, transducer that captures detailed and accurate sound. The hypercardioid uh, polar pattern combined with the line plus gradient acoustic principle allow for a narrow focus pickup pattern when, uh, while maximizing the rejection of sound coming from the sides and rear. This means you're gonna be able to, to have your voice or whatever sound you're pointing this at focus just on that. So if you're outside, you're using this microphone and there's a bunch of noise around you, it should block out some of that noise because it's rejecting it and it will just pick up you if you're speaking into the microphone. So yeah, all right, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the mic and see what, uh, see what it looks like inside here. And so let's get this out. We have some, uh, we have the, the user guide here. We have the leatherette pouch, some silica gels we always seem to have, the actual microphone, and we have the foam windshield, and then the microphone, uh, the mic clip. So let's take all this, we'll set it over there, and let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's get this uh, microphone out of here so that we can actually see what it looks like. So let's just set that tape there. And, uh, and actually get the mic out of the packaging here. And yeah, this thing is nice. Ooh, you know, I have to say, Marcus Brownlee would like this microphone. It's matte black and he loves matte black everything. So yeah, there we go. This is, uh, this is gonna be a, a, uh, a really nice, fun microphone I think to have. Um, let's put the, the foam on there. Let's see what that feels like when it's on there. Yeah. Nice, I like that. Okay, there we go. All right, let's pull it off for just a second there. And uh, this is the this is the mic capsule here. Um, I believe this is the high pass filter right there. I think you need to do something. You probably have to go in there with a little pin or something to switch it on and off. Now some uh, some microphones do have buttons that you can push or a little slider that you can slide up. Some of those have had accidents where people have activated them when they didn't mean to or pushed the button when they didn't mean to. This way you have to be very, very intentional about setting that uh, high pass filter on or off. So I don't see where there's a power button on here. Um, it does say that that you can use a, uh, a AA battery. So this is powered, so it has, uh, and there's, there's where the battery goes. It looks like it uses, uh, it's unclear if it uses, I think it's just one AA battery. So we're gonna have to put a battery in there and try that out. And maybe when there's a battery in there, it automatically uses the battery unless you hook it up to um, an XLR cable with phantom power running, running to something with phantom power. So, but the way that I generally use my system here is that I have this mic hooked up to my wireless mic set at that, um, you know, so there's no power. So I'm gonna actually need to have a battery in here to try this out. But because I do have an audio recorder that runs, that gives me 48 volt phantom power, 
I'll test it with both. So let's go ahead and uh, hook this mic up. I'll try it out in a couple of different ways. Um, the first thing that I think I'll do with this microphone is I think I'll just mount it right on top of the camera and try that out and see how that's gonna uh, how that's gonna work and how it's gonna sound. And then I'm going to boom it right overhead here so that we can see how it's gonna sound when it's uh, when it's boomed overhead. And uh, then I'll hook it up with the uh, with the Phantom Power uh, audio recorder, and we'll see what it sounds like when it's hooked up to the audio recorder. If it's any different running from battery to uh, with the 48 Phantom Power with the uh, with the yeah with that with that power. So battery versus Phantom Power. We'll see which one sounds if there's any difference, and uh, we'll just try out a couple of different scenarios. So let's test this thing out and see how it goes. Okay, so I have the microphone hooked up now and I have it mounted right on top of my camera. And yeah, so this is what you can expect it to sound like. This is coming right in through the Sony a7R 3 I have it plugged directly in there. It's mounted right on top of the uh, camera and I'm about arm's length away. I can just barely miss the lens. I'm so I'm just out of arm's length, but this is what you can expect if you're using this microphone mounted on top of the camera here. So yeah, all right, let's go ahead and I'm actually gonna unplug the microphone so that we can hear what it sounds like if I'm just using the built-in microphones of the Sony a7R 3 so you can have a little bit of a comparison. Okay, so I went ahead and unplugged the microphone and now what you are hearing are the built-in mics of the Sony a7R 3 So these are the built-in mics of the Sony a7R 3 just right out of the camera. So I haven't made any adjustments on here. This is just what you can expect right out of the camera. So yeah, anyways, let's go ahead now and hook the, uh, the Sonal MC24EL up to my uh, boom arm so that we can hear what this sounds like if I'm shooting the way that I normally shoot, which is to have this mounted right over top of my head. Okay, so now I have the microphone mounted just overhead right here, just out of frame. And this is what it sounds like if you're using this when it's mounted, you know, just out of frame where it's very, very close to you. I mean, obviously it's so close, I can touch the thing if I want to. So let me just pat it. There we go, that's what you can, uh, you know, if you wanna reach up and touch it, you can. It is that close, whereas before it was actually, you know, more than arm's length away. So this is what you can expect from this uh, this microphone right here. So yeah, now, um, one thing that I do wanna try is I wanna go ahead and hook it into an audio recorder and try it with 48, fan, uh, 48 volt phantom power because some of the mics that I've tried, I have a couple of other shotgun mics that run on both 48 phantom power and battery power and there is a little bit difference in the sound quality when you're using the battery power versus phantom power. And I wanna see if it does the same thing with this microphone. With some of my other mics, it seems like you get a little bit deeper, a little bit warmer, bassier sound when you're using uh, phantom power versus battery power. So I'm curious to see how this is gonna sound relative to uh, you know, using battery power. And then I'll talk about some of the things I like and what I don't like about this microphone while I'm testing the, uh, the phantom power. Okay, so I have the microphone hooked up now to an XLR recorder and it is just boomed right overhead again here. And so this is what you can expect if you are uh, using this microphone with an XLR recorder. Now you can always change the levels if you like, your recording levels with the recorder. So if you want the, the uh, signal coming in a little bit hotter or if you want it to come in a little bit quieter, whatever it is that you need, you can adjust that obviously with the XLR recorder. But this is what you can expect uh, for it to sound like. Now I'm curious to know if it sounds any different than when I was using the regular regular battery power because sometimes I have found that when using phantom power the microphones sound a little bit warmer a little bit bassier and so I want to know if I'm getting that same effect here and I want to know what you think about it so if you think it sounds better with the phantom power or not phantom power now the other thing is too is that you kind of have to you know listen with headphones to really probably hear that if you're listening on your phone or just on your TV speakers, you may not really hear a difference. And that's something else to consider when you're looking at a microphone is that how are people that are listening to your recording actually going to hear it? If they're going to be listening with headphones where they can really hear all the detail, it's really important. If they're listening on their phones or on their tablets or on their TV where they're just listening through their TV speakers or something, maybe they don't ever hear the difference, you know? So that's that's something else to consider. So. Anyhow, let me tell you a few things that I actually like about this microphone and a few things that I don't. 
One of them is the way the battery power works. Now, the way that is, is that you simply put in a AA battery and just like that, boom, your stuff is on and ready to roll. You don't have to do anything else. Just put the AA battery in there and you're good to go. Now, the downside of that is that it stays on. The microphone just stays on as long as you have that battery in there. So now for me, that's not really a big issue, but the problem where there is an issue with that is, is that there's no light on the microphone to let you know if your battery's good or not. So you really would have to check your microphone every time you get ready to record to make sure that you actually have battery in there. And to be safe, I would put a fresh battery in if you forgot to take the pad the battery out the last time you used it, I would just put a fresh battery in. Now that's the other part that that's really nice and not nice is that because it does take battery, you don't have to worry about um, your microphone going dead. So I have a couple of other microphones that have internal batteries and they're rechargeable. So all you do is plug it in with a micro USB cable. It charges the microphone up and the microphone then uh, lasts about 150 hours on a single charge, which is fantastic. But if for some reason your mic is drained and you need to charge it and you're in the middle of a shoot, you can't just put another battery in there right quick. You actually are going to have to stop what you're doing, plug in that microphone and charge it up for a little bit so that you can continue on shooting. Whereas with this Sonal MC24EL, if you run out of battery power in the middle of a shoot or before, right before you start shooting or something, all you have to do is simply grab a AA battery and put it in the microphone and you are off and running with no problem at all. Now another thing that might be an issue for some people is that the Sonal MC24 only has a high pass filter. It doesn't come with any other real features on here. Now some of the other shotgun microphones that I have, they will have a high pass filter and a low pass filter and they'll have like a, a, 10, a negative 10 dB pad on there. So if you are someplace where you're filming and it's really, really loud, you can go ahead and put that negative 10 dB pad on there. That will reduce the amount of, you know, reduce the gain and, and prevent your audio from uh, from clipping and so it really can help in certain situations now I don't really need to worry about that because I'm filming indoors in a very controlled environment but for some people that are using their shotgun mics for instance if you're at a sporting event or if you're at a concert or something like that where you don't have control over the sound in the area and it's a little too loud you can then use that negative 10 DB and you know, if you need, if you're someone that needs that a high and low pass filter, then you have it there. Otherwise, if you don't need it, you know, something like this may work out really nice for you. I think for a lot of people who are doing YouTube videos and they're content creators, people have control over their environment. They may not need those extra features, and sometimes they may get in the way or just be something else that they may have to worry about. Okay, everyone, there you have it. That is a look at the Sonal MC24EL condenser shotgun microphone. And the EL stands for long because they do have a short version of this microphone. So if you are looking for an on-camera microphone, let's say that you have a ENG type setup with your camera and you're looking for something that's short, that's still going to give you good audio quality, but is not going to be too long. You can check out the ES version, which is the short version. If you're looking for something that's going to be a little bit longer, or maybe for something in the studio or wherever, then you can check out the EL, which is the one I'm using right now, which is the long version. So yeah, either way, you're gonna come out a winner with this microphone because you know, from what I've listened to it so far, sounds good. So yeah, anyway, I'm recording with it right now again. I'm using the uh, the audio recorder, so I'm using it running the 48 power, uh, the 48 volt phantom power. So that's what you're listening to right here. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to leave a link to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also going to leave links to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can, uh, so that you can see everything that I've reviewed and you can reach me elsewhere. And also because I actually have three shotgun mics that both run on phantom and battery powered, I think I'm going to do a microphone shootout sometime in the near future. So if you're interested in that sort of thing, check back so that you can, uh, you can find out when it comes out. Make sure you subscribe and all that. So yeah. Anyways, there you have it. Links to everything down below in the video description. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me.
Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.